guys, Crazy Carl here, trying to show you a little bit about this new game, Ruse, coming out June 3rd, in its open public beta phase right now. Um, I'm going to show you first a little bit about the My Ruse, which shows uh, your options in your game of profile. Here you can see a summary of your, uh, of your, uh, your skills, your achievements, your statistics, which uh, nation you like to play with best, what is your best Ruse, your favorite... Uh, uh, unit, etc., and so forth. Uh, also tells you the rankings on your championship ladders: one v one, two v two, three v three, and four v four is going to be available as well. Um, right now in the beta, there's available battles and multiplayer. The battles is against an AI, and I'd much rather play against someone who breathes. So we're going to go uh, actually try to find a match, one v one, and happen to find a player who wants to play with Britain. So I'm gonna go with Italy, and um, a little bit about the nations. Uh, UK is uh, great with uh, air units. Italy has cheap units to build and also very fast units. So Italy is a good um, faction to or, or nation to sort of uh, rush with at the very beginning of the game. Uh, one way that you can do this rush is what we call a proto rush. Um, where you build a prototype base early on in the game as opposed to later on in the game. Uh, first thing first, I'm gonna put a supply depot to start getting resources and then put a camouflage net over my base. That uh, hides my building so that my opponent can't see what I'm building. Um, on the other side, here's what it looks like if he doesn't camouflage his buildings. I can tell that all he has right now is a headquarters and a couple of uh, supply depots. Um, moving on, uh, you can see here that I'm gonna actually build my prototype base like I said at the very beginning uh, the prototype base allows you to build the most advanced units in uh, in the nation um, different nations have different advanced units uh, Italy has some good anti-tank anti-air some uh, pretty good tanks and uh, some really kick-ass flamethrower tanks uh, that do great against uh, infantry so uh, we're gonna go ahead and those are some of the units. I'm gonna build these Caro P26s, uh, two of them. And the reason why Italy uh, is good to do the prototype rush, aside from the fact that they are fast so that you can get to their base quick, is also because their units are so cheap. Um, prototype units are usually expensive and as you can tell, these are around $25 each, which is, uh, which is not bad at all. Um, I'm also building an armor base. Um, just like in any real-time strategy game in Ruse, you must have eyes in order to be effective. Um, I am building an armor base so I can build an armor recon and uh, get eyes on my enemies so that I can send the right units at them. Um, you can see my two P26s heading out to cause some damage. Um, on the top left, you're going to see, uh, actually here you're going to see uh, me putting some radio silence in the middle of the map that will hide my units. <clears throat> which will allow me to um, rush him without being detected. Um, you also see that um, I am building a I'm building a unit called a Breda. Uh, Bredas are a combination of anti-tank and anti-air. Um, I figured those were good units to build against uh, Britain. As, uh, on the PC version, you can press tab over your unit and it will give you a description of, uh, of that unit. Um, here's a description of the Breda. Um, you can see that it does great against tanks and great against uh, air. So I'm gonna go ahead and build some. Um, I'm gonna build some of these so that I can combat uh, his his airplanes. Which you know, if uh, the reason he picked Britain is because he's gonna have airplanes out there. And uh, skipping ahead a little bit, there you see one of his bombers coming for my recon. And if it wasn't for my Breda. Um, he would have succeeded. Uh, instead, he was chased off back into his airfield to repair. Um, in the meantime, my P-26s are pushing into his base, um, messing up some of the light tanks that they sent against me. They didn't have eyes on me, so they didn't know what I was rushing them with. Um, when they saw that they were advanced jumbo tanks, um, yeah, that's when people crap their pants. So as you can see here, uh, with two tanks, I'm pretty much tearing up the house in his base, pretty much taking on every single uh, uh, unit he brings out, as well as uh, destroying some of his buildings uh, in the meantime, uh, whenever I have a chance. Uh, on the bottom left there, you can see my Breda going after his airplane as well. Um, quick uh, quick uh, note here, on the top left you see where I just clicked, 
Um, that's the ruses. I'm about to put fanaticism on my tanks. Fanaticism puts that flame above uh, your units, which means that when your units begin uh, being attacked, they will not retreat, um, which is an aspect of this game. Once your units are, start being attacked, they begin to retreat, which is not good for a rush. Um, on the other side of that, you can also put terror on the enemy units, which causes them to flee faster. As you can tell, I'm putting fanaticism on top of uh, on that region as well, so that I can keep pushing into him. Um, right next to the uh, ruse button at the top left, there's also how much money you have. Um, in the middle top there is uh, which ruses you have active. Um, here you're uh, seeing a little bit uh, later after I've already been pushed out of his base and I am doing some uh, heavy infantry research. That's what you see there with the times one. I started doing heavy infantry research so instead of building light infantry I'll build the heavy infantry. Um, it is more than worth it. Um, right here I'm actually going to build the heavy infantry and send them into a, a city <clears throat> so they can hide and uh, set up an ambush. Um, cities are the best hiding place for infantry. Um, not even a recon unit will find those units inside of a city. Uh, you can hide units uh, uh, such as recon and infantry inside of uh, woods. Um, here what I'm actually doing is uh, showing a little bit of the ruses. Um, decryption, radio silence, camo net, uh, espionage, fake tank assault, fake, a fake air assault, uh, fake offensive, which is just random unit types. You can also put down a couple uh, decoy buildings such as airfields, barracks, AA bays, and unarmored bays. So um, just things that you can do to play around. Uh, the reverted intel is one that I haven't quite grasped, but uh, I have a feeling in the future I'm going to be using it a lot. What I did here is build an air uh, an airfield, and I'm sending an air recon unit out to check out what he's flanking me with there on the right side. Um, as you can tell, my air unit is going to get close enough for me to see that those units are heavy tanks. Uh, they're actually Matildas, and so that uh, <clears throat> that leads me to build some anti-tank units. Um, I already had some, but I just built a little bit more. As you can see there, he's uh, trying to flank my left, trying to flank my right. He's just kind of pushing on me right now. Uh, what you don't know is that those units on the left are actually decoy units. It's a fake tank assault. So as soon as I find that out, I focus on the units that are attacking me dead on there in the middle. Um, I actually just set those, uh, those bunkers right there. Those are anti-tank bunkers. So as you see, I'm retreating my tanks into the anti-tanks um, so, uh, so that those tanks get raped. Um, here what you see me do is actually a mistake. I was about to put camouflage net on top of those bunkers so that they wouldn't be able to see it. Um, I hesitated for too long. Uh, what happens? His bomber comes and bombs the hell out of one of my bunkers. Um, I was one second too late. If I would have gotten that camouflage net uh, one second earlier, he wouldn't have been able to bomb that bunker. But anyway, I got another bunker right there. He gets destroyed. Uh, this is a little bit later after his push, I counterattack and pretty much take him out. Um, he's pretty much surrendering at this point, so I'm going to be a uh, good gamer and tell him good game and try to get him recruited to come check out www.battlestrats.com uh, so he can become part of the community. Uh, he wasn't a very good player. He was a UK player to just spam units, uh, spam some air units and tanks. Uh, otherwise, he could have messed me up. Um, but I'm sure we can work with him if he feels like uh, sending me a friend request. But anyway, uh, as you see here, uh, he surrendered. Uh, he got a total victory. Uh, you won't be judged just on wins losses. There will be total victories, major victories, minor victories, and draws. The same thing is true for, for losses. So uh, you won't be just ranked on win losses, but what kind and what, uh, the depth of your win and your loss. Um, at the towards you can see the uh, your kills and your losses and compare stats. Anyway guys, that's about it. Uh, thanks for checking out my video. Uh, it is my first, so don't go too rough on me. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Oh, I definitely hope to see you out there in the battlefield.